Well, National Safe Boating Week is kicking off with a special event happening later today at the Washington Waterfront. Not on your side, Ford Sanders joins us live there from Washington. And Ford, tell us more about what's in store for today and the week ahead. Good morning, Julianne. Yeah, here today at the Washington Waterfront, the U.S. Coast Guard's hosting an event to make sure people are aware of how important boating safety really is. Now, I got the chance to speak with Jeremy Young. He's a first-class boatswain mate with the Coast Guard, and he tells me that this week is all about making sure communities stay safe. Just the basics of going out there and making sure you come back home safely at the end of the day. Safety being the top priority for the United States Coast Guard every day, but especially during National Safe Boating Week. The week-long safety awareness PSA is taking place from the 22nd to the 29th. U.S. Coast Guard First Class Boatswain Mate Jeremy Young says it's a great way to introduce new boaters to safety measures. And you get a lot of these younger people that, especially with the pandemic that just happened, a lot of people found a, a way to relieve that stress by buying a boat. So again, this is something, a way for us to educate the newer boaters. Young explains that although they will be on the water in full force all week, it's not a time for them to get people in trouble, rather to educate them on safety. That law enforcement presence, we will have it out in, in force with the auxiliary, you know, just educating. Not so much, at, you know, getting out there and being the bad guys, but we're going to be out there promoting it, hey, you have you know, life jackets on board. Governor Cooper is also showing his support for the week by declaring a proclamation for the cause, pledging his full support. He sent out a thing saying what it is, where it is, how important National State Boating Week is to the public, and that he endorses everything that we're doing, and he stands behind us 100%. Young says that 86% of boating deaths happen from drowning, so they want to make sure people are educated on what to do. From flotation devices to having a plan, it's all part of their mission to protect you. With everything that's been going on between, between the pandemic and new boaters getting out there, this is definitely a great way to educate yourself. Now, mayors from surrounding counties will also be at today's event to show support for the Coast Guard's efforts. And Ford, can you tell us more about the governor's proclamation regarding this? For sure, Julian. Yeah, so basically Governor Cooper put out a proclamation saying that he knows how important things like life jackets and other safety items are, also showing his full support for the Coast Guard and their mission. Live in Washington, Ford Sanders, 9 on your side.